is Queens and In-Betweens. Welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I decided on starting a new series called BSN with me, which is basically like become a nurse with me, but like BSN, you get the picture. So I just applied to nursing school at East Carolina University and I get my decision letter on October 15th. So I wanted to make a series to track my journey through nursing school and so that we can become a nurse together. So my first video will be how to pass the HESI because that was my first step other than my prereqs, which will be another video. My first time I took the HESI, I didn't study like I was supposed to and I made a 72. And my second attempt, which was last week, I made a 98.6. So if you wanna pass the HESI, then stay tuned. So the HESI requirements are different at every school. Some schools don't even take the HESI to take the T's or any other exam. My school, we take the HESI and you have to pass with a 75% or higher on each section. Also, sections are different from school to school. So my school, we have to take bio, anatomy, math, reading, and vocabulary. Other schools have to take grammar, physics, chemistry. It's, it's different from every school. So make sure that you know your school's requirements before you sign up for the HESI. So a few different study materials that I use for the HESI were Nurse Hub, Quizlet, this website called Vocab Test, I'll link below and any, basically any practice test websites that I found. Some study resources that I do not recommend would be these books. So I used this book my first attempt. This is the only one that I used and this is good for vocab. However, I still didn't pass vocab, which I'm not gonna blame it on this book. I blame it on myself for not studying like I was supposed to, but these books do not really come in handy other than math and vocab. If you, you can use these books alone if you want to. If you already have them, then go for it. But I don't recommend studying these for anatomy. So for Nurse Hub, if you're a broke butt girl like me and you can't pay $50, because I sure couldn't pay $50, there is a discount code. I'll put it right here. I think Nurse Hub is worth the $25 because it gives you every single section that you test on. And each section has five tests and each test has 50 questions. If that makes any sense basically you can take these tests however many times you want to and perfect your score whenever you get a question wrong on nurse hub it gives you an explanation as to why it's wrong and why the right answer is the right answer i highly recommend nurse hub over these books these books were probably around 40 dollars together or maybe maybe less i don't know but i don't recommend buying these you could just buy nurse hub and be set or you can use Quizlet for free. This video is not sponsored by Nurse Hub, I promise you. But I mean, they could they could sponsor me if they want to because I need some coins. But this video isn't sponsored by Nurse Hub, I promise. It's just super useful and it gives you explanations on everything. It's unlimited questions. I, I recommend it. So I'm going to go through all the sections that I took and what score I made and what I recommend to study for that section. So the first section that I took was reading and I made a 90% my first attempt. I honestly didn't really study for reading because reading is my strong spot but I recommend that you take your time to read the passage thoroughly. My problem is that I get lazy or bored while I'm in the middle of reading a story and I'll just doze off or daydream and think about what I'm about to eat because I'm greedy. Take reading first so that you don't get tired towards the end. Also make sure you read the passage all the way through. Don't just skim through it. That's another issue that I have. Um, Something that I learned in school was to like read each paragraph and then like write a little summary about what each paragraph is or like write whatever stands out to you. I also recommend process of elimination whenever it comes to questions like what do you think this means? Like what do you think was implied in this statement? Just eliminate like whatever you know is not implied and then you're left with two answers. I also passed by on my first attempt and that was studying off of this book which is not recommended like I said but obviously it must be good for something if I pass by on my first time. I made a 76 on bio, however, my school rec my school needs a 75% to pass, so I barely passed it. So like I said, I recommend using the other materials like Nurse Hub, Quizlet, and I'll link them below. Make sure that you know the basics, like make sure you know cellular respiration, mitosis, meiosis, the kingdoms. So for anatomy, this is the one that I hated the most because I was just so stressed. My first time taking the HESI, I was in the beginning of anatomy, so I didn't know anything at all about the heart, the lungs. I didn't know anything about anything. And I went in there, took this test, answered every single question with my heart, just to get a 52. I recommend that you take anatomy before taking the HESI so that you 
understand each system. You don't have to, but that's what I strongly recommend. Make sure that you know each system broken down. Make sure you know the flow of blood through the heart. Make sure that you know the layers of the skin. Make sure you know about parts of the bones. A tip that I use in anatomy, the class and on the HESI, is osteoclast versus osteoblast. Clast, C, chew. Blast, B, build. Osteoclast, choose the bone for calcium. Osteoblast, build the bone. I strongly recommend Nurse Hub for this section. There's about 280 something questions on anatomy for Nurse Hub. And I would go through every single question until I got them all right. However, I would miss like four questions out of 280, which is pretty good. And I still scored at 100 on anatomy in the HESI. So as long as you can pass Nurse Hub, you can get through the anatomy section. I promise you. I put money on it. If you pass Nurse Hub anatomy, you could pass the HESI anatomy. Make sure that you know the endocrine system, what hormone is produced in which gland, what each hormone does, what hormone works with what hormone. That's very important to know. For the math section, I went from a 72 to a 98. I strongly recommend that you remember a few different conversion study hacks, basically. So for instance, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. This conversion is for the metric system. I strongly, strongly recommend that you know this conversion. It's worded in different ways, but this is just the way that I remember it. This is good for going from meters to kilometers, going from grams to kilograms, stuff like that. I also recommend that you know the big gallon man. This is super important because I did not study this my first attempt. There was plenty of questions going from gallons to pints to cups, and I did not study this. Make sure that you know that there are 30 milliliters in an ounce. Make sure that you know that there are eight ounces in a cup and so on. Roman numerals is also a good thing to know because even if it isn't on your HESI, it's going to show up in the cranial nerves and so on. So what I used to remember the Roman numerals is I value exalophones like cows do milk and I'll put it right here so that you see it. I will also link down below like a few different links to Quizlets and like sources that show you how to use these conversion methods and stuff. And also make sure that you know fractions, ratios, and percentages. In my opinion, these all go hand in hand, so that's how it's easy for me to learn. And for the fractions, ratios, and stuff, I like to double check my work using the butterfly method. It's called different things all around. If you want me to go in depth with how to use these like conversion methods and how I study my ratios and stuff, please let me know and I'll post a video on how to do it because I can't really explain it really well. But I can like write it down and show you how to do it and like explain it step by step. If you struggle in math, I highly recommend that you watch Math Dude on YouTube. He's super helpful. He explains things step by step as well. And he shows you the tips and tricks to remember things. For the vocabulary section, I stressed myself out the first time. I made a 72 my first time. In the second attempt, I made a 98%. So I do recommend, I for these, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll give these books credit. I recommend that you use these for vocabulary if you actually study it. However, these are also on Quizlet. Like all the words in these books are on Quizlet if you don't want to buy these books yourself. And like I said, I'll link Quizlets down below. I also use Nurse Up for vocabulary and it explains like what each word means and it gives you a variety of words. I also use this vocab test website. Like I said, I'll link it below. It has like 267, I believe. All of those words showed up on my exam as well. Also know the difference between words like there, there, and there, effect, effect, dilate, constrict. The vocab is super basic. At first, I was kind of worried about it because there's like a thousand words that could be on the exam. There were study guides that had like 900 words on it and I was like, how am I gonna remember all 900 words? Plus information for each other section. However, it was super basic, I promise you. Don't stress yourself out about it. That is basically what I did to study for the HESI differently this time. So that's how I went from a 72% to a 98.6%. And I, like I said, I strongly recommend that you use Nurse Hub. This video is not sponsored by them. They're not giving me any coins, but I mean, they could, but it's not sponsored by them. Quizlet is going to be your friend as well. If you cannot afford to pay for books or pay for Nurse Hub, Quizlet is free. There's a lot of sources out there on Quizlet. I believe I have the link to like a huge study set that I'll link below. Just make sure that you don't stress yourself out because I definitely stressed myself out. I was crying the day of. I made my doctor think I had high blood pressure because I was so like scared and worried. But it's not that bad, I promise. So as long as you study and you put in effort, then I promise you, you'll pass the HESI. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. And 
if you have any questions about prereqs or applying the nursing school or anything, make sure that you comment and I will be sure to make a video addressing it. Thank you. Make sure that you click the subscribe button down below, share, like it, and I hope you are ready to become a nurse with me.